Wednesday only. The truckload sale and clearance with savings up to 50% at the brick. <laughs> yes. This is a quarter horse, the kind that cowboys still use extensively. When I see an animal like this, I usually think of the days of the Old West. Well, there are people in Canada who still dream of living in cowboy country. And our next story is about a man from Newfoundland who finally did it. He went west, became a cowboy, and started singing cowboy songs. But he still managed to hang on to his Newfoundland roots. <laughs> Many years ago, John Cabot sailed towards the great unknown. This is Bob Jarrett, a Newfoundlander, born and bred. For two long months he tossed about upon the savage foam. Like the great explorer he's singing about, Bob too dreamed of leaving home and living in a new land. But never did he get dismayed, he just sailed on and on. Look at those prairie chicken, boy. I'm Ever since he heard his country music idol, him. Wolf Carter, on the radio, Bob wanted to live in cowboy country. What is the very first Wolf Carter song you ever learned? You Are My Sunshine. Go to her, boy. A lot of memories, huh? skies are gray. You never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. Did you pick it? It was back in 1980 that Bob headed west and settled down near the town of Mossbank, Saskatchewan. One day while on his weary way, good news spread all Living on the prairies, he could at last feel like a real cowboy. He started writing his own country tunes, but they weren't about his new home. A virgin land untouched by hand where nature's wealth abound. With settled hair for many a year in this beautiful newfound land. All right, now you're in the West, and now you're singing about... Newfoundland. Newfoundland. Well, all right. I still, I'm still dreaming one day about going back to Newfoundland to stay, too. Well, I guess that proves you can take the boy out of Newfoundland, but you can't take Newfoundland out of the boy. That's why people in Mossbank call him the Newfoundland Cowboy. Thank you very much. How's your songwriting going? Writing any new ones? Yeah, we just started one yesterday. Well, I should have it done in a day or so. Oh, well, that's good. You'll be hearing it, yep. okay? See ya. Thanks a million. Thank you. My cats will be happy. Right. Bob's family has all grown up and gone, except, of course, for his country music-loving cats. Are you okay? Huh? You all right? They keep him company. You okay? okay? They don't complain about the food, and they're the perfect audience for trying out new songs. Uh, many years ago, John Cabot sailed. It only takes me five, ten minutes to write a song once I start to write the song. I just make it in my head when I'm driving along. And then I come home and write it off. Many years ago, John Cabot sailed towards the great unknown. When I was growing up, I always thought I was a cowboy because I played the guitar. Since I moved out here, I had cattle. I've been in roundups. I played the cowboy, and I was a cowboy. So now I can say I'm a cowboy. And to be a singing cowboy, Bob believes you have to dress the part. It, it gives you more confidence in yourself, I think, yeah. I played lots of times for the old people at the hospitals, you know. And I, it seems like I cannot get it out, like, if I don't got the cowboy outfit on. Well, I'm trying to find a tie, to, a homemade tie now to match this homemade shirt. Bob's getting all decked out in his cowboy outfit today because two of his sons are coming to visit from Moose Jaw, and they plan to do a little jamming. It won't be long now, I'll be settled down on new 
open land, beautiful shore. I'll bid farewell to the prairie. I ain't going back anymore. Alan and Bob Jr. have jammed with their father for years. Last year, they encouraged him to go to a studio and record some of his Newfoundland songs. When I got the first tape, I'm telling you, mister, that if you put a million dollars in my hand, I don't think you'd feel any better than that tape did. Newfoundland, you are the best. Great song, great song. Well, thank you. Is the next dream making a tape of Newfoundland songs, or is it going home? Well, here's the way it is. If I make the tape, it will be a Newfoundland, so that's two more dreams right there. Back you back. Back you back. But there's a hitch in Bob's plans to go home. An old blind pony named Kitty. What's your head? Back you back. Pony has hold me up a lot, yeah. She's 31 years old. And yeah, we're still, gotcha. she's still going strong. Okay. Bob absolutely loves yeah, Kitty. Daddy love her. And because he knows she'd never survive the trip back east, our Newfoundland cowboy is content to stay in the west as long as Kitty is around. Are you going to find it hard to leave, yes, Bob? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, I will. I, I think I'm going to have to tell somebody to put a blindfold on me. I, I'm going to find it tough to leave out here. And that suits Kitty just fine. Mm -hmm.